My name is Dr. Anthony Hildren. I'm the physical therapist here at Alivio Medical Center. Today, we're going to be discussing our newest addition, the DEXA scanner from GE. We got this um, because it provides the gold standard for not only bone density um, for our older patients as well as our patients with other um, issues related to their bones, but also we opted for the body composition component, which I will be addressing today. It is the gold standard for measuring body composition. So if you want the best information broken down in every possible way, we can do that with this machine. And the scan for most people will take, you know, between 12 and six minutes. We can also look at the different areas where you carry your fat. Do you carry more fat around your organs or do you carry more fat, you know, under the skin? Um, because that's a great predictor of not only insulin resistance, but cardiovascular risk. The first report you will get looks like this. It gives you an outline of what your body looks like, you know, where your bones are at, how the fat is distributed, in a general picture term, what it really looks like. Um, what it will also do is give you a graph as to where you're starting. That way, if you get additional scans, because you're actively trying to lose weight, we can then give you how you're doing year to year or for the more aggressive weight loss people. We can do this as close together as three months apart. Um, for the less aggressive people, I would say six months apart is what we're looking at to give you a trend line to let you know what you're doing is working. The next sheet you get will give you your resting metabolic rate, so the amount of calories you burn just laying down doing nothing is that number. Now that number is influenced by how much uh, muscle you have on your body. So there's a nice fancy equation that it, this all goes into, but this will give you a bare minimum number. And then when you come and see us in the fitness program, we can do an additional calculation on top of this to see how many calories you burn in a day based on your activity level. The next part it talks about is your relative uh, skeletal muscle index. This number is your amount of muscle relative to your height in your body. This number is a predictor of sarcopenia, so basically loss of muscle mass. Loss of muscle mass can lead to a lower metabolic rate. It can lead to other disease processes. The next form we can print out, we can actually break down where your fat is throughout your body. So how much is in the arms, in the legs, whether it's the right leg, the left leg. Same thing with muscle mass. Do you have more muscle on one side than the other side? This will allow us imbalances, and then you can start to work on targeting certain areas. And depending on the area, there are some additional dietary guidelines you can follow to address more of the abdominal fat. So the next page is the visceral fat versus the subcutaneous fat. That's the fat. Visceral is around the organs. Subcutaneous is right under the skin. For this number, this is a predictor of cardiovascular risk and insulin resistance leading to diabetes. So using all these numbers, we can come together and have a discussion of where you're at today, what your overall health looks like, and your risk of cardiovascular disease, as well as diabetes and complications from those. Most people opting to do it during their annual physical if they're not actively trying to lose weight, just as a tracking standpoint.